Because, I mean, this, I mean, when you look at this picture, this boy wore down. And we got to be honest, black folks, this boy done had a, a bad two months. Started off with you when you carried him to Israel and made him a Negro for a day. Now watch Clinton here. Watch Clinton. Listen to this laughter. Look at Clinton. Can we stop the tape for a second? Can we stop? This, I want to rewind this about five seconds and we'll pick it up at that point. You, you are looking here now at Dick Gregory, who is a weight loss expert and a comedian at a pulpit in a church applauding and praising the president of the United States. Look, I have a sense of humor. Don't, don't misunderstand here. I've got a sense of humor, and I, I think part of this is clever, actually. But I'm just, I want you to get this picture. The president of the United States is listening to Dick Gregory say, you made him a Negro for the day by putting him at the back of Air Force One. And the president's going, <laughs> <laughs> this, this is not, can just picture any other president. Would this happen with Ronald Reagan sitting there? Would it happen with George Bush sitting there? I don't even think it happened with Jimmy Carter sitting there. Now, Clinton looks to me like he's somewhat embarrassed and doesn't know what he's supposed to do here, and it's obvious he's decided, I will laugh because the people I'm with expect me to, which is exactly what this president does anyway, whatever the people around him. So now watch the rest of it with this perspective. Well, two, two things here first. First off, Newt didn't shut the government down. The President of the United States did. Newt gave him the authorization bills. All he had to do was sign them, and a bunch of those departments would have stayed open. Also, this is Martin Luther King Day, and, and it's, it's a big holiday. And uh, I, I, I don't know how much of the celebrations around the country you saw. We have taken note of one, Jocelyn Elders, so we'll have comments later. She spoke at Detroit or the University of Michigan somewhere, said some incredible things. But you know, the civil rights movement, they're talking about everybody's forgotten the dream, everybody's lost the dream. The, the, I'll tell you who's lost it, the civil rights movement in this country has totally abandoned whatever Martin Luther King stood for. Martin Luther King was an integrationist. He wanted color blindness. He didn't, you know, content of your character, not the color of your skin. You remember that line? These people that run the civil rights movement today are segregationists. They are, the Million Man March was about segregation. These people, it, it, it's not at all. I mean, his memory, and I, I really, I'm probably going to be on thin ice with some of you saying this, Martin Luther King's memory has been bastardized by the very people who claim to be the inheritors of his legacy and stand there on this day and, and uh, honor what he did. I mean, they've totally lost the uh, uh, intentions that uh, Dr. King had. Before we go to break here, folks, we're going to show you some political funnies. Uh, Al Gore, Vice President Al Al Gore was uh, in Florida, and he was at a fundraiser in Florida, uh, and he'll just show you what he said here. Take, take a look at this. I don't usually begin with predictions. In fact, I don't usually make predictions. So do me a favor, if you would, and just keep this in this room. But here, here it goes. And you can write it down if you want to hold me to this. I feel confident and I feel strongly about it. We're writing. In the presidential election of 1996, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. the great state of Florida will put the Clinton-Gore team over the top and into the winner's circle. Okay, now that's, that's Saturday the 9th of January. No, I'm sorry, it's December 9th. December 9th. Uh, wait a minute, I don't know. It's, it says December 9th, 96 here, so I don't know if December 9th is right or 96 is right. Whatever. That was before what we're going to show you next. That was Florida. Here's Vice President Al Al Gore some days later in Tennessee. Now, I want to begin today uh, before presenting the president with a prediction. And since I don't usually make predictions, I'd like to ask you to do me a favor and just keep it between us here in this room. Here goes. In November, 
of 1996, when the American people make the decision on which direction our nation will take Look at in the ensuing four years, the great state of Tennessee will put Bill Clinton and Al Gore over the top for re-election. Well, I hope you people in Florida saw that here because uh, this is great. We'll be back and talk a little about Steve Forbes and the ruckus he's raising out there. Don't go away, folks. We'll be right Mom always gave me chicken soup when I was sick. Today, I give my daughter something more nutritious, Pediasure. Pediasure provides more complete, balanced nutrition than chicken soup, milkshakes, or gelatin. Ask your pediatrician about Pediasure. Science sees dry skin with a need for healing moisture. So science introduces a new Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion with three extraordinary ingredients that heals dryness for a full 12 hours. New Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion. You are looking at happy people. Why are they happy people? They are happy because they are reading the Limbaugh letter. This site really scares liberals. Look at them. They are optimistic, confident, well-informed people. Call 800-796-4200. Get one year of the Limbaugh letter and this hilarious Clinton parody audio cassette for only $29.95. Call 800-796-4200. This is really great. I know. I wrote it. Isn't it amazing how a new look can say so much about you? Well, Tampax Tampon says a new look, and it says a lot about us. Our applicator has been improved, so now it's sleeker, smoother, and really comfortable to use. But our unbeatable protection remains unchanged. Hey, good luck though with health, but it's what's on the inside that counts. Look for improved Tampax Tampons in a bold new box. Trust, it's Tampax. What would you do if suddenly you found yourself with no memory of who you are or where you're from or what you've done? How far would you go to solve the mystery of your own murder before your enemies find out? You didn't die. Coming in January, a world premiere event. Robert Urich is The Lazarus Man. Series premiere Friday, January 19th at 9 on UPN 27. Hi, I'm Calypso Louie. Call 212-397-7367 for Rush Limbaugh tickets. Thank you very much. Thank you. This, uh... This is not easy, folks, and it's time to be a little tough on my conservative Republican friends. I think they made a huge mistake, big mistake for the movement. Steve Forbes is uh, making a huge move. In New Hampshire, he's up to 21 points. In Iowa, he's moving up as well. Forbes is pushing two ideas. One is a flat tax, and the other one, which has escaped scrutiny because everybody's been so flummoxed about the, fat, the flat tax, and that is his, his effort to privatize Social Security. Now, Forbes has a plan that I think makes all the sense in the world. What he wants to do is to continue to withhold the payroll tax from people uh, who earn wages in this country. And a portion of it would go to pay for the retirement of existing retirees and would do so for the next 10 to 15 years because those people are living out the, uh, the ends of the pledge and the promise. And there's no attempt to take Social Security away from them. There's no attempt to frighten them. There's no attempt to give them anything less than what is, is, is uh, due them according to existing law. But he rightly points out that we're out of money. The Social Security Trust Fund is an accounting gimmick and it's got some funds in it, but it's not going to be around much longer. He's very much aware of how ill at ease younger people are now about the prospects of there being no Social Security for them. So he simply says, after we take enough of their payroll tax and funnel it to the existing retiree population, we're going to take the remainder of that tax and we're going to invest it in a private retirement account run and managed by the employee. He can't touch it, he can't go get it, he can't spend it so that it's not there, 
when, when it, but it's his money. It doesn't go into a giant fund. It doesn't fund the general fund. It doesn't fund things other than Social Security. It doesn't pay for anything other than his or her retirement. Now, this is a, private, uh, a privatization plan, and conservatives are all for privatization. I thought conservatives want to get all kinds of government functions out of the public sector and into the private sector. They are more efficient, they're more productive, and they're cheaper. And it's also giving people control over their own future and destiny. It's giving them confidence that they will have a retirement when they, when they do retire. A quote from Bob Dole's spokesman, Nelson Warfield, about Forbes' Social Security privatization plan. He said, Mr. Forbes' idea of hardship is when the butler has a day off, so he's willing to toy with risky schemes like privatization of the Social Security system so many people depend on. We've got a... Con I know the political hot potato that Social Security is, but this is not a threat to existing retirees. This is not a scheme, and it's not risky. Uh, and and for, for Bob Dole to sit here and start talking, I mean, this is a comment that a liberal Democrat would make, Steve Forbes and his butler. You know, since when have we gotten to the point that the wealthy in this country don't have good ideas simply because they're wealthy? I want to show you some more examples of this. We had a debate up in Iowa on Saturday, and there were some, uh, some comments that other Republicans made about Forbes. And you tell me if this doesn't sound like it's really Richard Gephardt or David Vonier speaking. Take a look at it. Steve, and the only thing you've ever run is a magazine you inherited, and you raised the price of your magazine. Certainly, Mr. Forbes would understand this because he knows all about big corporations and big money. My flat tax is a middle class tax cut. Yours looks like one that was worked up by the boys at the Yacht Basin. What is happening to us here? We are eating our own. He's got a perfectly good idea. But if you don't like the idea, attack the idea. But they're attacking him like liberals would attack him. And why? Because he's got money. Well, let me tell you something about Forbes. He may have inherited his money, but so did Ted Kennedy. Forbes works hard, runs the magazine. He's spending his own money on this campaign. He's not walking around with hands out. He's not fundraising like all the rest of these other guys. He's not asking individuals for twenty-five or fifty or a thousand dollars. He's paying it himself. The American way. We can't have it both ways. You can't sit there and complain about that and then complaining about how fan fundraising occurs when you don't have your own money. And they're all spending money too. Buchanan's spending money. Uh, Alexander's spending money. Dole's spending money. So Forbes is spending money. But they're trying to say it's his money that's getting him notoriety and attention. It's his ideas, ladies and gentlemen, that people are responding to. The flat tax ideas, social security privatization, economic growth. These guys ought to start talking like that instead of trying to sound like a bunch of liberal Democrats out on the class warfare path. We're eating our own. You know, we, if we join the chorus of attacking achievement, criticizing success, we may as well just join David Bonier and Gephardt and unionize the entire Republican Party, folks. It really, this burns me up that they're on this path and somebody better step in and warn them. Let me show you a cartoon. This is an editorial page cartoon from USA Today. Um, by Mike Keefe. Look at that. There's the first panel. Income tax equals 17% of income. Nutty idea by Steve Forbes. That's a quote from Alexander. It's a nutty idea. Here's what uh, other people seem to like. <laughs> that's the good, that's the current tax code by the, by the federal government. There's the whole thing. This, by the way, don't miss, this is not an endorsement of Forbes. I'm not endorsing anybody. I like the economic growth plan. I like privatization of Social Security. I like getting rid of the anxiety among the young people of this country and the elderly. I like getting rid of it. Social Security is something that's going to have to be talked about and dealt with. And we, on the one hand, say we're tired of politicians and people who don't have the courage to address these tough issues. Here's a guy that does it, and look what's happening to him. It's just a sure sign that he's uh, having a lot of effect, I think. He's very effective. We'll take a break and be back with Ms. Elders. Ooh, right after this. <laughs> Why get only half the workout on an ordinary treadmill when you can get a total body workout? Introducing the incredible WalkFit from Nordic Track. WalkFit's unique design lets you exercise your upper body and lower body at the same time. You get a
a fast, effective, total body workout that burns an average of 850 calories per hour. Whether your goal is to lose weight, tone muscles, or relieve stress, you can do it all with the WalkFit Total Body Treadmill from Nordic Track. WalkFit gives you a 53% greater cardiovascular workout than an ordinary treadmill, and you can burn 53% more calories. And WalkFit has no motor. It's safe and easy to use. Unlike motorized treadmills, you control the pace. There's no herky-jerky starts and stops. Call our toll-free number now and receive a free video and brochure showing how to start an enjoyable exercise program you'll stick with. Don't settle for half the workout when you can get a superior total body workout with Nordic Tracks WalkFit. Call today and get a 30-day in-home trial and two-year limited warranty. After all, it's from Nordic Tracks. Get your burger's worth. Dear foreign car owners, when it comes to fixing brakes, foreign cars aren't foreign to Midas. That's why we offer same-day brake service and guaranteed brake shoes and pads for as long as you own your car. Get 25% off guaranteed brake shoes and pads. That's 25% off brake shoes and pads for any car at the Midas International Brake Sale. Vilket bråk man än talar, det är ett erbjudande värt att bromsa för. Hi folks, welcome back. Well, it was Martin Luther King Day all over America, and in Ann Arbor, Michigan, at the University of Michigan, it was Jocelyn Elder's turn to deliver the MLK Memorial Lecture in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. We have some select quotes. Before I get to the first one, though, let me just explain, because we don't have this in quote, but it's reported that she said that Martin Luther King's dream of an equal America and her dream of teens well-informed about sex <laughs> must be spread through education at all levels. She has therefore equated <laughs> masturbation with Martin Luther King's dream. <laughs> Well, don't say, gee, she's the one, she's, don't forget, she is not Surgeon General because she advocates teaching masturbation from birth forward. So she has just gone, she's a her, king's dream of an equal American, her dream of teens well-informed about, you know what they should have called this? The, 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 the I have a wet dream lecture <laughs> by, by Jocelyn Elder. That's, see, really, that's, that's what this should have been. Get this. She said the country is suffering from a crisis of creativity. What? She doesn't like the fact that condoms simply come in the straight foil packs anymore instead of in earring shapes and everything? Many are still out there who don't know what the dream is all about. We must have an educated populace. We can't have democracy and ignorance, too. Well, we do. <laughs> then she, she talked about the fact that she's proud to be called and known as the condom queen. She said, I would put the crown on my head and sleep in it if everyone who should use one did. <laughs> Can you imagine Dr. King watching all of these celebrations, and here's a woman talking about wearing a condom crown on the day we honor his wife? She says, if we want a uh, diseased, ignorant population, then we don't need a Department of Defense because we will self-destruct from the inside. And she got standing O's. I should say ovations, given the subject matter. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, Where's the hook? <laughs> I, keep, I keep waiting for that old cane hook to come here any minute. Oh, gee, this is... This is, uh, you know, my friends, uh, we have a, a, a situation here. I don't know how we're getting along in America. You know, we've sent troops to Bosnia. We don't have a Surgeon General yet. So, and this is why. So that's, that's our summary of the highlights of the celebration of Dr. Martin Luther King Day in America. We'll be back with our closing segment right after this.
fresh relief with the effervescent power of Alka-Seltzer Plus cold medicine. It's ready the moment you take it. Refreshing powerful medicines to soothe your aches, relieve your runny nose, free your breathing. Nothing rushes relief like Alka-Seltzer Plus. Or rush relief with new great tasting orange flavored Alka-Seltzer Plus. 17.9%, 15.5%, 18.2%. It really does add up, doesn't it? Hi, I'm Jim Palmer. If you're a homeowner carrying big credit card balances from month to month, the Money Store has a better solution. With a home equity loan from the Money Store, you can pay off all of your credit card balances as well as your auto and your other loans. And the interest is usually tax deductible. So don't let those high rate bills keep adding up. Pay them off with a home equity loan from the Money Store. Call 1-800-LOAN-YES. I started my cleaning business with five houses, and now I have close to 200. No one does a better job than I do. The hardest room in the house to clean is the bathroom. I'm an absolute terror in a bathroom. I hate soap scum. It's like a layer. I mean, you get, you get the hard water stains, and you get the soap scum, and you've got to get through one to get to the other. And that's what Comet Bathroom Cleaner does. Comet Bathroom Cleaner is the best when it comes to cleaning soap scum. Then nothing's better at getting rid of tough, hard water stains. Comet does a great job. Makes my job a whole lot easier. When others can't cut it, Comet can. Traces of crimson on your toothbrush, bleeding gums. It's caused by germs. Listerine kills them. It helps prevent the gum disease, gingivitis. Kill the germs. Spare your gums. Listerine, the power of prevention. How fast can you begin to feel relief from a cold? It depends. How fast can you open the halls with vapor action? Halls vapor action means instant action. Only from the halls of medicine. Clinton attorney David Kendall was on the Brinkley Show Sunday. I'll show you a little clip here. Listen very carefully to George Will's question. The question would be, is the subpoena enforceable? She will try and provide information again in whatever ways are appropriate. Why wouldn't it be enforceable? Well, it's not clear. This is a, this is a question involving uh, the legislative branch and the executive is branch. Is she in the executive branch? Uh, she has uh, certain, uh, she's discharged certain duties. They don't want that question. Is she in the executive branch? They do not want that question. You can tell. See you next time, folks. Goodbye. Services provided and promotional fees paid by the following. I can eat what I want because of Breath Assure, the internal breath freshener. Be sure. Breath Assure. To order Breath Assure, call 800 795 5544. Order Rush's hilarious new video, Sometimes You Just Gotta Laugh, for only $19.95. It's available only through this TV offer, so call 1 800 625 Rush. Quit chewing tobacco with Mint Snuff All Mint Chew. Mint Snuff is made from mint, not tobacco. For a store near you, call 1-800-EAT-MINT. Now available at Sam's Club. I'm mad at Nightall. People who worried about sleep aids used to count me. Now they feel safe with Nightall to help them sleep. Nightall will help you get your Z's. If you'd like to order a video cassette of Rush's TV show for only $24.95, just call Video Archives at 1-800-FOR-VIDEO. For a transcript, send $5 to Burrell's, Box 7, Livingston, New Jersey, 07039, or call 1-800-777-TEXT.